Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be understanding how engineering graduates can join Indian Army A lot of people dream about this a lot of students a lot of people who are preparing for placements who are in final year they dream about joining Indian Army and a lot of them never know exactly what's the procedure fine as an officer how they can join Indian Army they are always confused for this so to clear out that confusion to you i am building this video and the reason why i can possibly guide you on this is for a very long time i have tried entering into indian army fine and interestingly i qualified the national defense academy examination and you can check that out on google you can go ahead upsc website you can check for nda na 2020 exam where for the NDA 145th course I was recommended and for that I achieved all India rank 468 in the merit list and then when I completed my graduation I did my BTech I achieved all India rank 1 in the technical graduate course we'll be talking about it fine so it is an entry and in that I achieved all India rank 1 for the permanent commission in the Indian Army as an officer henceforth I know what are the ways to enter the indian army and i can best possibly guide you for that that's why we are building this video so before we dive in deep go ahead follow these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update and do follow my instagram handle shukla ji speaks because there you can directly connect to me and directly message me now first one is tgc technical graduate course this is the entry for which i got all india rank 1 in the computer science branch and my course was tgc 138 fine i guess the editing isn't enabled so i'll enable it out and let's do it now so my course was tgc 138 this was my course for which i got recommended and interestingly this entry offers you permanent commission be it civil mechanical electrical electronics computer science these five major branches and a few miscellaneous branches as well but these five famous branches can apply here age should be between 20 to 27 years qualification is be btech in notified engineering streams now these streams are given in the notification of tgc you can find that on join indian army fine dot gov dot in if i'm not wrong this is the extension otherwise dot com dot gov dot in is generally the extension so join indian army fine that's the website you can go ahead and check on it your qualification should be be btech in the notified streams and gender should be male candidates only unmarried male candidates here females cannot join in tgc for this particular course females are not eligible fine now going further for females there lie the entry fine entry is there for females but here for technical graduate course it is usually for males fine usually kya males ke liye hi hai it is specifically for males and this entry gives you an entrance for the permanent commission in in the indian army alongside that you need to satisfy of course medical and basic physical conditions but alongside that it offers you to enter the best of the regiments in the technical field for example if you are computer science or electronics engineer you have high chances of entering signals regiment however it's not a very fixed structure that you'll go to signals only you have choice of arms that you can fill up and according to the various procedures and various orders in which you lie fine various enclosures that exist in the indian army according to that you'll be given so the training for this happens at ima dehradun fine indian military academy dehradun there the training happens for it fine so this is one of the finest opportunities but the seats are very less so the competition is very high fine and i'll talk about the general procedure of it as well but right now understand this much now when we go further you have short service commission ssc tech fine now here you have a chance of getting a permanent commission later on but this short service commission generally from 10 to 14 years that is the span of your service after that if you are very good in your career if you have done well you will be a permanent commission officer you will be converted to permanent commission fine again the eligibility is same 20 to 27 years btech 
or BE in notified streams, gender both male and female candidates. Here, both male and female candidates who are unmarried can join this particular entry. But here, you need to understand one thing. And these I am telling specifically of technical people or engineering people. Here, you need to note that this particular entry leads you to OTA Chennai, earlier known as OTA Madras. So, Officers Training Academy, Chennai, here you can go after this entry if you get selected and you are found medically and phys physically fit. Later on, if you are into the merit, then you can go to OTA Chennai, clearing all that. And the most important portion being the SSB, we will talk about it, but OTA Chennai is the place where you train in the heat of Chennai, in the heat of Tamil Nadu. We forge the great iron swords of our nation. Fine, so yes. OTHNA is a place where you can go and this offers you again the similar domains like the TGC gives you but what here you can achieve is if you're somebody who wants that I want to do a stint in army as an officer and later on I want to join something else great for you if you're somebody who wants a permanent commission still you have a chance here so 10 to 14 years of service you generally have here fine so that is the general service span that you're going to have here fine now, if I go further, you have combined defense services examination. This is CDS exam. For these two entries, there is no exam. There is directly interview. You get shortlisted on the basis of your marks of graduation or BTEC. So if you have generally for computer science, it is around 74 to 86. This is the range of cutoff. In this, the cutoff lies. You can go through various cutoffs. And same goes for here, 74 to 86 again for CS. This is, I'm talking about CS. For mechanical, for males, it drops even lower. But for females, the cutoffs are generally high. For males also nowadays, cutoffs are generally high. So this is a cutoff range of your percentage. Straight away on basis of your percentage, you'll get a call letter for your SSB. SSB centers are various in the India. Indian geography, fine. For example, you have one at Allahabad or Prayagraj nowadays, SSB Prayagraj, which is Selection Center East. You have Selection Center North in Jalandhar. You have Selection Central, you have Selection Center Central, which is Bhopal, fine. And then you have Selection Center South, which is in Bengaluru, fine. So you have these four Selection Centers for Indian Army specifically, fine. And henceforth, you can get an SSB anywhere. I was recommended from Allahabad and interestingly, I was recommended from a board which is known for very dreadful image it has. It is known for rejecting people. But I was fortunate enough. God was kind and that was one thing. But here, you have to feel that this particular place, you're not going to give any written exam. Initially, you're straight away going to SSB. There is a procedure where you have some exams and various tests. So here, that is a five-day procedure. But here, in combined defense services examination, in CDS, you have proper written exam which you need to give. It is a prelim preliminary exam. You have to qualify that. That is very, very important exam. Fine. So, it is conducted by UPSC, first of all. And it leads you to IMA as well as OTA. Now, this is very strange. This gives you permanent as well as short service commission. How does it give you? See, male candidates are only for IMA both male and female for OTA. Now, what is this? The male candidates who opt IMA, they have to give mathematics exam as well. Whereas, who don't opt for IMA, they can just give general knowledge and English exam and then they go ahead and they went, uh, go for short service commission for OTA. Fine. So, this is OTA Chennai and this is IMA Dehradun. So, all the people who appear for IMA, they give general knowledge, English and mathematics test. Whereas for people who appear for OTA, they just give general knowledge and English test. Fine. And on the basis of that, they are shortlisted. And you can choose both as your options. There's no problem. Fine. If you are a male and you want to appear for IMA as well as OTA, you can choose that option. Qualification is graduation, BE, BTEC for technical roles. Fine. If you are somebody who's applying for technical roles, BE, BTEC. But here, generally, for CDS, you need any graduation. Even BA can appear here. Fine. BA can appear. BTEC can appear. BCOM can appear. Anybody can appear in CDS. Fine. Here, marital status is again again unmarried. And 
here you have a proper CDS exam. There is an exam which is conducted by UPSC and after that UPSC qualifies or shortlists a few people on the basis of cutoff for the SSBs. Fine. Once you qualify this, you go to SSB and the general pro procedure is application. Fine. Post application, you have either shortlisting, which is directly done. You can apply on Join Indian Army for TGC and SSC. I'll write here TGC and SSC. For CDS, you have UPSC exam, which is Combined Defense Services Examination. This is the name of the examination, Combined Defense Services Examination. Then you go ahead and in CDS, you can also appear for Air Force, you can appear for Army, you can appear for Navy as well. So CDS, that's why it is called Combined Defense Services Examination. Fine. Now, when you go further, you have SSB. Fine. This is a five-day interview. Now, if you want me to build a video on this, if you want me to build some resource on SSB, straight away go to the comments, type SSB and subscribe to this channel. Fine. If I receive 100 comments of SSB on this video, I will build a proper guidance video for SSB. Fine. And that too free of cost. So, SSB, five day interview. Fine. I've qualified this two times. Interesting journey. No doubt. And out of one, that was a wonderful one for Prayagraj. Now, SSB, after SSB, you have medical examination. Fine. Alongside that, document verification also. And then merit list. And if you are into the merit list, you have joining letter. Fine. So this is what you generally get as a general procedure for joining Indian Army. Fine. And if you're interested enough, go ahead, apply for it. India needs strong soldiers. So top three comments might find a chance to win Prep Insta Prime subscription for free for three, three months. So go ahead, comment and follow this social media handle Shuklaji Speaks. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe it out, subscribe the channel. Alongside that, keep doing good for others. If you feel that somebody needs this information, go ahead, spread it. Video share karo ya nahi karo. Knowledge zarur spread karo. Fine. So without any expectation, keep doing good. Good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.